here's another one. Rem- did we talk about uh, Buck Robley on the uh, on the experience of the drive through here when we were talking about that promotion he started in the early '90s in I, Louisiana? I think that was the drive through a while back. Yeah. <clears throat> well, basically, what I'd said. Well, the, the question was about Buck Robley, and the only time I really worked with him was when he had called me in the early 90s, as right as I was setting up Smoky Mountain Wrestling, but he wanted me to come to New Orleans. He was starting the NWF, and he was using it. Ron Powers out of St. Louis, big Brody-looking guy, and and uh, you know, and some other talent that that might be over in Louisiana. And I said, "All right, I want to see what's what's going on here because I, you know, as starting a company, maybe it's going to be successful, whatever." Anyway, and I told a story about when I got there. I found out he had gotten an Elvis impersonator that he had met at the racetrack that had apparently had some money from whatever questionable means that he had obtained his money from. That was his backer, and the whole idea or at least what he sold his angel on as they used to call him in the wrestling business the backers his angel was that he'd start this wrestling promotion and the guy would be a heel manager but then he'd switch him baby face he'd give tickets free tickets to all the kids around new orleans to the wrestling matches and be a big hero so that in whatever other business he was in besides the elvis impersonating and shit that i think was a shady business anyway he could you know and then plus he met him at the racetrack which i understand is where buck met usually for the last number of years of his life, all of his friends or anybody that he lived with at the time. But anyway, so that was the story, the Elvis impersonator, and they didn't last long. And that's, I went down once and that's what I knew. Well, Brian wrote an update on this. Hi, Jim. I was just listening to one of your online interviews on corny YouTube. The subject of the NWF in New Orleans came up when mentioning Buck Robley. I attended every show they had there in Chalmette at the St. Bernard Civic Center. It was actually in June of 92, I believe, that I was there. And, yes, he did finally get the shows on TV. I think there were four or five TV tapings there. And a few months later, he made more TV tapings in Kenner at the Landmark Hotel – or in Kenner and at the Landmark Hotel in Metairie. So – a few different locations over a few months for TV tapings. That's never a good sign. Uh, he says the Elvis guy was Michael Allsher, and he gives his real name, but I don't know whether we should get involved in that. He never did turn babyface. The promotion ran nine or ten months, but the last few months only had three shows. But after the wrestling gig was over, Michael put a band together in a tribute to Elvis-type show band, and he was actually better as an Elvis impersonator than as a wrestling manager. <laughs> so... <sighs> anyway, Elvis in the wrestling business. You know, someone brought up to me, I guess you aired some footage from one of those tapings on Smoky Mountain TV. I forget exactly what it was. I want to say it was someone beating up Chris Adams, and now I can't remember who. Oh, my gosh. You know, uh, <laughs> I sound like Lance now. <laughs> ah, well, pal, I, uh, um, Yes, I did, and I can't remember who it was. It was somebody coming in, and they they sent me a VHS tape. So because they had taped it off the air, but we could get away with that stuff back then. 